Hey, it's Mamran, and I'm gonna share something that's, I don't know, heavy. Um, but the goal of this video is not really to be depressing or a downer, it's just the reality of the situation. So, and I promise I'm not gonna cry in this video. We're actually gonna get to music. We're gonna get to the idea of chasing your dream or pursuing something that you've yet to do and have wanted to do. Um, so, uh, last week, um, I went to check on my brother because I hadn't heard from him in a while, my oldest brother, and uh, I found that he had passed. Um, I found him in his home, and um, we're dealing with the fallout from that. And once again, you know, I want to reiterate, my, the goal is not to seek, um, you know, sympathy or condolences or anything like that. It's just as we're taking care of these things and reflecting on things, I'm going to give you a little bit of a story, a uh, backstory to um, what occurred just prior to um, the week prior to me me finding him. As tragic as that is, there's something just kind of sticking in my head, and I need to make the video. I had a different video that I was making, um, but this kind of turned that all topsy turvy. We're still working on music. I'll explain all that. Um, but I want to give this little story. So, a week prior to um, me uh, finding my brother and his passing, um, I'd been out in the area where he lived um, because we have a lot of friends out there. It's where I grew up. He actually lived in the house that I grew up in. And so, uh, I was out there helping my girlfriend's brother move some furniture from one house to another. And so we got all that furniture packed up and moved and got it moved into the new place. We grabbed something to eat. And so this was early mid afternoon and we were going to drive home. And my girlfriend said, Hey, why don't we give your brother a call and uh, go over there and visit him? And I was like, and you know, I got up early this morning, which I do most mornings, got a bed, you know, four o'clock in the morning, did some music stuff. Then we ran out there, did the move. I was tired. Um, you know, and, and I'm like, you know, let's 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 call him tomorrow. We'll set up a time. We'll come next week. We'll, you know, come when it's earlier, so we're fresh. And and she's like, well, you're right here. You know, um, I, he'd really, I'm sure, love to have the visit. Just give him a call. And I hemmed and hawed. Came up with one excuse after another. And um, and I'll be honest, my girlfriend kind of guilted me a bit. Um, you know, she can do that gently, gently. I'll bet gently. She guilted me and I relented. And I relented in a pretty frustrated manner. I was like, fine, I'm gonna give him a call. He's probably busy, he might not even be there. And so I called him and he was there. He's actually getting ready to take a nap. And he's like, oh, I'd love to see you. Yeah, drop by. So we went over there, we had our dog with us and um, he has a dog and we, um, we uh, let the dog, we went in the backyard because we're all social distancing. And so we sat in the backyard by his pool, had a great time and just sat there and talked to him about growing up in the house and running around Chatsworth, which is where we grew up, hiking through the hills, taking our dogs out, watching the dogs play. It was, a, it was actually a really nice time. We spent a couple hours there. And when I left, I he told him, I said, yeah, we're gonna come back. Let's do a barbecue. Let's get the dogs together and kick back by the pool. Um, of course, we didn't know what was gonna happen. <clears throat> and so, um, and so of course I'm, so grateful to my girlfriend for pushing me on this. Uh, that's the first thing. Um, I'm not upset that she pushed me. Obviously, it was the right thing to do. And But I've been reflecting on it a bit more. Um, you know, we had to go through the mode of contacting people and, and first family and then reaching out to uh, my brother's friends. And they all, of course, said the same thing. You know, they knew him to be a, a very helpful person. He just kind of very bigger than life personality, very intense person. Uh, one of the people, you know, conveyed this story before that um, I wake up very early, you know, between 3.30 and 4.30 most mornings. And on any given morning, um, if I woke up, at, if it was four o'clock in the morning, if I were to text him and say, what are you doing? I'd get a text back immediately. And it would typically be having some coffee about to go up in the hills with my dog. And uh, oftentimes when I lived in the same town, I'd meet him there. We'd take our dogs up in the hills. So um, that's going to be something I miss. But um, as I reflected on it more, I really thought about how important it was that I took the opportunity I had to see him. And so this is super cliched. You hear it all the time. 
And I've tried to live this way most of my life. I think I try and you know, take advantage of what opportunities come up. But then again, as I posted last week on my YouTube video, you know, fear has kept me from making videos and whatever other excuse, I get busy, whatever the case may be. And, you know, I mentioned we're all busy. And, but it really got me thinking that, you know, if, if you have this dream of making music, of uh, being a songwriter, of getting out and performing, um, I, you know, I can't emphasize enough that we don't know what the future holds. And it doesn't mean that, you know, I'm not trying to be morbid and say, you could be dead or somebody else could be some other opportunity. That is certainly true. That could happen, obviously. Um, but, you know, we have health to deal with as well. Linda Ronstadt can't sing anymore, right? So um, things happen. And then other opportunity, life circumstances can change that take us out of one opportunity to another. We may get more or less busy. And I've made the commitment that I'm going to work on music every single morning, that I'm going to do a little bit towards music, whether it's songwriting, recording, or mixing. Right now I need to be in mixing mode, although I'm going to introduce you to a song I just wrote. I think I'll play much of it. I'm not going to put out the demo yet because I'm still working on some pieces. It might just become a full piece because it really sounds nice. So I wrote a new song and I'll introduce that to you. Um, but some things that, um, that I've committed to, once again, as part of this, um, you know, we're not exactly sure what happened with my brother, but we suspect uh, might have been a heart attack. Um, he was generally healthy, but in this last year, maybe, um, you know, he could have made, him, made it to the doctor and gotten checked out. Um, you know, I think with COVID, he was staying home. So it really got me thinking about some things I need to work on. Um, once again, I, I'm pretty healthy. I get out and hike um, pretty regularly and work out. But I need to be more diligent about that, about the food that I eat, about my sleep pattern, get to bed earlier. Because I'm always going to wake up early. It doesn't matter what I do, so go to bed earlier. Um, but also commit to those things that I have a dream of doing. And what I wrote online when I posted a little postscript about um, my brother's passing is I wrote that story about how my girlfriend had pushed me to go see him and how thankful I was that I was pushed to do that. Um, and so if you need that push, let me be your push. Um, I'm going to try and uh, push myself and I'm going to post what I wrote online at my desk um, sim similar to what I showed on that other video, right? I'm going to post, uh, say it, do it, be it, right? Don't wait to say what you need to say to someone. Um, you know, that call you wanted to make, right? Make it, um, and do it. If you wanted to perform your music, if you've been afraid to put out a song, you know, a video of you doing one of your songs, do it, get over it, get over that fear. Once again, Time is a precious commodity. Um, be it. You want to be a songwriter, you want to be a performer, you want to be a musician, you want to be a photographer, you want to be an artist, you want to be a, a computer programmer, I don't really care what it is, then be it. Be about the business of being it, right? That's, um, that's kind of all I really want to say on that topic. We'll return to it because I'm going to ask you if you watch this video, if you see it, um, I'm still working on building my views, so maybe it's going to be five people, ten people, twenty-five people, who knows. Um, leave a comment. What's that thing you've been putting off doing, and what are you going to do to change that? Um, but we're going to return to that. So this week I've been mixing Everyday Lies. I redid the baseline, so I'm going to kind of segue in video and let you hear a little bit about what I was doing there. I wanted to make it move a little bit more and kind of push the beat a little bit more. So I think I accomplished that. I think the mix is coming out nice. Um, I'm gonna re-record vocals, so the mix you hear, either I'll take the vocals out, I don't know. We'll see what I output. Um, and then I wanna show you this new song I wrote. So I've written songs for all my kids, except for my youngest, and she's a singer. Um, I'm gonna be having one of the songs that I'm recording with her, uh, that I'm producing, a uh, song I wrote that she sang on. Um, I'm going to be producing that soon and you guys will get exposed to that. She's a wonderful singer. Um, but I hadn't written her a song um, and so I wanted to sit down and write it. We were having a conversation. This is prior to finding out about my brother, but la literally last week. 
before we found out and we just had a conversation with her she just wanted to check in and I wanted to talk to her about you know what was she thinking for this next year both with music and also schooling that she's doing and other plans and it's been a little bit of a rough year because school was closed and the school experience to her was really important she was of course doing her studies online but she just really wanted to get back to that and felt like the year had been a little bit frustrating and so that was the conversation kind of the backdrop for this song um and it, it was a song that was just kind of reflecting my heart she was my she's a grown woman uh she's very competent um but she's also my little girl i don't like to see her either frustrated or feeling sad i hope you're not hearing that noise somebody's garage is opening in any case so i'm going to show you that song i showed a little bit of the uh chord structure because prior to writing it I mentioned in the last video that I couldn't share it with you because couldn't share the lyrics because that person would be watching one of my videos. She looks at my videos, so I wanted to make sure I didn't expose that. So anyways, let me show you that. And I don't know where I will have segued to Everyday Lies to show you that mix as well. And then we're going to come back to kind of that overriding lesson of uh, say it, do it, be it, right? And we'll get back to that in just a minute. Let me grab my guitar. All right. I, I'm also being very careful to not let you see the full office, which is a little bit of disarray. We pulled a bunch of stuff out of the garage and we're moving things around and I've got to put things back in order. In any case, here's that chord progression. Here's what I wrote. It's called Baby Girl. Show you the full lyrics for that and we'll have a demo very soon i may post part of the video or maybe at the end i'll post the entire demo if you want to listen to it you can take a listen to it and we'll be adding to that um, over the next really the next week um and then progress with everyday lies but um so actually what i need to do is segue away <laughs> Today, unintentional, I'd lost my way. I shouldn't be surprised to see his car. He always told me you were wrong for me. You just right for him, it seems. That explains missing last night show I don't feel hurt and I don't place blame Don't hold you responsible for my shame i 
These are my everyday lives. So back to the subject at hand that I started this video on. And, um, and once again, it's not about the, the bummer of a situation, the, the tragedy that we experience and the sadness for the loss that our family is going through. That's, that's true, that's real, that's what's happening. But really, the most important thing I want you to take from this is that time is precious. And so you want to, oh, somebody just messaged me. You want to uh, say it, do it, be it. And I'd love it if you'd leave a comment not a, we're so sorry for your loss, Matt. I mean, I appreciate that too. But really, this is about you. This is about what dreams you have with regard to whether it's songwriting or some kind of art or a career change or improving your health or a relationship or whatever the case may be. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and maybe more than that, I have a commitment every morning. I'm doing music. Um, what's your commitment to yourself? It's not to me. I'm not keeping you accountable. This isn't an accountability club. I'm not saying, trying to get you to manifest anything. I'm just trying to get you to think about it. What are you going to commit to to achieve your dream or reach that goal? Once again, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, and uh, we'll be back at you on Thursday. Remember See you. your way back home. The years roll by, but you'll always be. Baby girl From the moment of your first breath I felt the need to draw you near to me Time takes no prisoners We cannot hold what we must have